Good morning. How are you today? It is Mobility Monday on the 7th of December. My name is Karen. I'm here with Get Moving and Get Moving, as you already know, I hope, is all about helping people with mobility issues to get some solid daily exercise. Every weekday, 11 o'clock, you'll find us here and you can find us on the catch up service as well. If you're unsure about the catch up service, go to the website, address is up there somewhere reesfitness.co.uk slash get moving and you can find all the previous workouts we've done on the archive page so just dip in do the ones you like ignore the ones you don't like you know get stuck in so exercise is good for us moving is good for us being mobile is good for us um, and just because if we have a mobility issue, say, for example, if we have a disability or a chronic medical condition or an injury or something like that, something that stops us from moving as well as we, ho as, as we hope, just because we're in that situation does not mean that exercise is now, now suddenly bad for us. It's not. It is still good for us. It is good for helping the rest of the body move around. It is good to help rehab that particular thing, which is uh, less mobile if you have that injury or anything. Uh, it is also incredibly good to help us keep at bay all those things that every other human being has to worry about when being inactive. Uh, heart conditions, um, uh, obesity, uh, diabetes, things like that. So whatever your excuse, it's not valid, I'm afraid. All we need to do is just uh, modify things a little bit, do things differently, but we still need to keep moving, still need to keep mobile. And that's what we try and help everyone with to do on uh, Mobility Monday. So fingers crossed you have your resistance band handy. You're going to need that in a little bit. Not quite yet, but in a bit, because uh, we're going to do the exercise of the week, which involves the resistance band. Um, but all these exercises we're going to do today are suitable for pretty much everybody. Whether you are seated in a wheelchair, say, whether you are standing, walking wounded, something like that, they are, they are suitable for pretty much everybody. So like I said before, whatever your excuse, it's probably not valid. Get stuck in and give it a go. It does not really matter that much uh, how much you do or how hard you do or any of that kind of stuff. Don't need to be macho at the moment. But as long as we give it a go, as long as we give it a try, as long as we get stuck in and do something, because as we all know, something is better than nothing. So today we're going to do 30 seconds of all the exercises. We're going to go through nice and steady to start off with, um, build things up, uh, start of a week. So let's get things going like we want it to carry on with. Yep. Good call. Let's get moving, shall we? So, <clears throat> excuse me. First exercise, as always, nice and simple. Just get things moving. If you are seated, I want you to sit tall. Posture is very, very important. No slouching and collapsing down like so. Sit tall under our own steam. And we are going to march on the spot. Just get your knees up like so, marching away quite nicely. If we're standing, it's pretty much the same thing. But we're going to be standing. If your balance is a little bit iffy, by all means, stand close to a wall or something for balance. But we're going to march on the spot. We're going to do 20... No, we're going to do 30 seconds worth of it, OK? In that time, it doesn't matter how much or how little you do, as long as you do whatever you can do. Are you ready to start marching on the spot? Everybody up or down or ready or whatever, okay? In three, two, one, away we go. Marching on the spot. So if you're new to this, if you're unsure, if you're not quite confident or anything yet, start with small moves. Small moves, steady moves, fantastic. Like I said before, anything, something is better than nothing. If we can, we'll do bigger moves. And that's where we're going to progress, slowly but surely. No, nope, there we go. Sorry, that's time, time, time. Uh, I was saying we're aiming to improve our body, and that's what we're going to try and do by making things bigger over time. That's our first exercise, dead simple. So our next one, this can be done, whether you're seated, whether you're standing, makes no difference. Shoulder rolls. So sitting or standing tall, you're going to roll your shoulders back like so. Move them up, move them back, move them down. And of course, if you can, the bigger the move, the better. So if you can, start getting your elbows involved or getting your arms involved. You just do it as big a move as you can. Again, 30 seconds worth. In three, two, one, off we go. So up, back and down. And if you can, get your arms moving a little bit. If you can, get your arms moving a bit more. The bigger the move, the better. 
If you are seated, well, to be honest, if you're standing as well, but I'm, to I'm especially looking at people who are seated, sit tall. Don't let yourself slouch there and do a small move because that's not going to help us much. The more we sit tall and the bigger the move, that is going to help us even more. So expansive moves back and down. And that's our time there. That's our 30 seconds. You get the idea? Just going to go through all the exercises, nice and simple, but away we go. Uh, knee bends are next. So if you are seated, again, sitting tall, kicking your feet out and back, bending and straightening and getting as much movement out of that knee joint as possible. It's a nice hinge. Make sure it stays hingy. Okay. If we're standing, same idea, but this time we're going to kick our heels back towards our bums, like so. Again, bending and straightening the knees, nice and simple. 30 seconds in three, two, one, go, go, go. Bending or straightening your knees. Again, as always, start off with the easy bit is a small move like so. But slowly but surely, as our balance, as our confidence, as our strength, as our mobility improves, we make it a bigger move. If we're standing, either standing close to a wall for balance if you can, but try not to use it. Try and be as self-sufficient as you personally can be. We're all going to be as good as we can. There we go. That's our time. That's got our legs moving a bit. And now we're going to do twisty Sarahs. So again, this is one you can do seated or standing. It makes no difference. So seated or standing, nice and tall. Fold your arms and twist your entire body in one direction. Hold for a sec and twist it in the other direction. Hold for a sec and repeat. Three, two, one. Off we go. Twisting, the shoulder comes round and the shoulder comes round again. So we're moving the spine, moving the chest, moving that rib cage to as big a range as, is, as you can. Now, of course, everyone is unique. Everyone is different. We all live our own limitations. So all I'm asking of you is to do the best version that you can do. Don't compare yourself to me. Don't compare yourself to somebody else. Just say, is this the best that I can do? today and if the answer is yes fantastic there we go so exercise of the week time now to get your resistance band if you're unsure about this if you are unsure how to set it up or how to modify it or anything have a look back at last tuesday on technique tuesday because that's why i set out all the modifications how to change how to set up all that how to do this move basically but we've got bows and arrows so this is for your upper back Shoulders, sitting tall, posture, that kind of stuff, okay? Hold on to your imaginary bow out there and you hold on to the string of that imaginary bow. And then you're going to draw the bow back across your chest, pinch your shoulder blades back together, hold it for a sec, and then recover, okay? Now, 30 seconds worth on one side only. In three, two, one, off we go. Like I said, though, if you're new to this, if you're not sure how to set this up, have a look back at last Tuesday. So at the end of the session there, I go in depth on how to set this thing up, how to modify it. If, you can, if you've only got use of one arm, you can still do this exercise. You have to do a modification, that's all. And I'll show you how to do that last Tuesday. So have a look back at the catch-up. Like I said, the catch-up is available via the website. The link is above me in the description above, okay? That's it. That's our 30 seconds one side. Now we're doing the exact same thing, 30 seconds on the other side. So swap sides. Again, the other arm is going to hold on to that imaginary bow. Other hand is going to imagine, hold on to the imaginary string of that bow and then draw it back. 30 seconds on the other side. In three, two, one. Off we go again. Draw it back and relax. Shoulder blades are going to pinch together and then recover. And notice my arms are as parallel to the floor as possible. Keep them in a nice straight line. Don't let them drop. Don't let things collapse like that. Keep the elbows sticking out. Draw the shoulder blades back and recover. You're sitting or standing tall, using the muscles in your upper back and your shoulders to sit and stand tall and use this move in a nice big way. That's our time. Pop that away. We don't need that anymore. Moving on to the next one, double taps. So if you're seated, back down to the lower half, sit and tall, you get the, this is a, a definite um, pattern forming there, okay? Sit and tall throughout. 
Double taps. Knee comes up twice. One, two, then down. One, two, and then down, okay? As always, make sure you don't collapse back into the backrest of your chair. Sit forward, sit away from your backrest. Sit tall, be independent, and raise the knee twice. If you're standing, this is a balance exercise. So if your balance is a bit iffy, as I say before, stand close to a wall, but the knee comes up twice, and then down. Same other side, twice, and then down. In three, two, one, away we go, double taps. And as always, a small move down here is easier. A little move down there is easier. A bigger move up here is harder. You do whichever version you can manage. You do the hardest version you can manage safely and successfully. I've said this in the past, I'll say it again. The whole point of this is to be, is to challenge our body, but be successful about it. And that is our time, well done. Um, 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 side bends, bendianas now. So again, guess what? Whether you are seated, whether you are standing, it doesn't matter, it's the same move, same exercise. Definitely one arm reaches down and we're gonna bend sideways, bend sp spine sideways, and then bend the other way. If you can, as one arm goes down, the other arm comes up and over. And just exaggerate that bend one way and the other. In three, two, one, away we go. Bend and reach if you can. Bend and reach if you can. So we're moving, we're mobilizing, we're keeping the spine nice and bendy, making sure it still can move, it's not gonna seize up. If you have a stiff back, Things like this, exercise like this, and the twisted series as well, they're very good at helping us unstiffen our back. It's a common thing, people go, oh, I can't do that, my back is stiff. Well, to be honest, this is gonna help unstiffen it. So get on with it, I'm afraid. You do what you can, do what you can, but you bloody do it. That's our time. Squats, squats and sit-stands, legs again. Again, nice, simple exercises but effective and does a, does a job. If you are seated, now is the time to try and do your best to stand up. Use your legs, tuck your feet underneath you, get your body weight forwards, push down hard through your legs and stand tall. Uh, concentrate on being nice and tall and not don't stop the move somewhere there. Stop it all the way. Take your time and go all the way. And then you sit back under control, you sit back down and you repeat as many times as you can in 30 seconds. Practice makes perfect, that's what we say. If we're standing, squat time, feet apart, feet flat, sit the bum back and down onto an imaginary chair, and then stand back up again. So seen from the side, we sit back, down, and back up again. In three, two, one, away we go. So again, doesn't matter how many or how few of these you do. You do the best that you can. So if you are, if you're going to manage one or two of these in the 30 seconds, fantastic. Do one or two of them. If you can do more, do more. If you can do them low, even better. If you can only do them nice and high like that, do them like that. As long as we do it, we will slowly but surely start to improve. It's when we say, ah, oh, I can't, and don't do it. That's when we start getting in trouble. So don't be that person. Uh, tightrope walking and ankles then. So if you are seated, ankle mobility. We've done all the major joints so far. We've done shoulders, hips, backs, knees, all these things. Now we're going to really concentrate on the ankles. So bending and straightening the ankles like so. So first of all, you're going to aim to get your heel to touch the floor and then point your foot and get the toes to touch the floor. And then the heel and toes, heel, toes. And of course, we'll do it on both sides because we wanna minimize any wonk we have in our body. And that's a technical term, okay? Minimize the wonkiness. If we're standing, tightrope walking for balance. Imagine you have a tightrope, a line painted on the floor. We're gonna walk along that like one knows sobriety test things, okay? Feet apart is easier, feet narrow is harder. 
Do the hardest one you can successfully do, but with me now, everybody, walking forwards, away you go. You're gonna walk heel toe, heel toe along that imaginary line on the floor. Uh, I've done this uh, over the past week with people in uh, car parks, on the lines in car parks there. We just tight roped along the lines there. They've done fantastic. I've been really impressed with them. Now the same thing, going backwards, same thing again, this time of course, toes, heels, toes, heels. Again, staying as much as you can on that imaginary tightrope. This challenges our, our balance. This makes it difficult for us to balance, but that makes it better for us. Now, we're gonna do it one more time. So going forwards again, off you go, heel, toe, heel, toe. So the, if we have difficulty doing something, the last thing we wanna do is to avoid doing it because that just makes it worse. We don't improve. If we want to get better at something, we do it. We get more and more experience at it. So one more time, going backwards, toes, heels, toes, heels. There's two phrases we live by at Get Moving. Practice makes perfect and use it or lose it. If we don't do it, we lose that ability. The more we do it, the more we practice, the better we get at it. And there we go, that's it, job done. And that's our balance bit done. So the last couple of exercises now, the quick ones now, the out of breath ones. Let me just quickly change my timer. So my timer is now gonna be set for 10 seconds, okay? We're gonna do two rounds of 10 seconds each of fast feet. So far, we've uh, prioritized doing things nice and big, big and fairly slow sedate moves. Now we're gonna change. Now we're gonna prioritize something else. It's gonna be small move, but fast move. So if you're seated, running on the spot, getting your feet moving nice and quick, like so. Small moves, but fast moves, okay? So that's if you're seated. If you're standing, same idea. Small moves, fast moves, running on the spot. Just like so. Like I said, two rounds of 10 seconds, you do the best that you can do, and by best I mean you do the fastest that you can do. So are you ready? Fast feet in three, two, one, off we go. Nice and quick, the quickest that you personally can do. Doesn't matter if it's faster than me, doesn't matter if it's slower than me. You do the best you can. Time, time, time. So give everything a bit of a tactical waggle. Make sure everything is feeling okay. Make sure you are feeling confident with what we're doing because we're gonna do it one more time. Because as we know, second time is always better. Practice makes perfect. So fast feet, one more time. Are you ready? In three, two, one, off you go. Quickest feet you can do. Up and down, like a blur if you can. There we go, job done there. So that is our fast feet. Now, hopefully, like me, your breathing is up. You're starting to huff and puff because now we're gonna do our damnedest to make it really huffy and puffy. Getting our breath time, final exercise, shadow boxing. If you are seated, shadow boxing, like so, just punching high, punching low, and just jabbing away and punching away and getting yourself out of breath. If you are standing, same thing, but of course, standing, punching away, moving your arms, and getting out of breath. Are you ready? We're gonna do three rounds of 30 seconds each. And again, you do the best that you can do. The whole point now is to get out of breath. So in three, two, one, off you go. Shadow boxing, you can punch high, so you can sort of punch head height if you like. You can punch the body a bit lower. You can punch underneath the chin like so with the uppercuts. You can move your feet if you can. You can shuffle forwards. You can shuffle backwards. Or you can shuffle to one side or the other side. I don't mind how. Whoop. There we go, time, time, time. I don't mind how you do it as long as you get yourself moving to get our breath. That's round one done. We've got two left. 
ramp it up a little bit now, a little bit faster if you can, okay? Three, two, one, round two, off we go. So quick hands if you can. Combinations, jabbing away, crossing away, switching your feet if you want, but keep your body, not just arms, it is body, twisting, twisting, twisting. That's what's gonna get the most out of the move. Get as big a move and as fast a move as you can. That's round two done, which leaves us with one final round. I'll do this last one seated. You do standing seated, whatever. You can do, the, you can do this though. It's the last 30 seconds. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Off you go again. So it doesn't matter if you're seated or standing. You can do hooks, hooking around the side, keep your elbow bent, hooking around underneath the chin like so. But you keep your arms moving quick, keep your body moving. Use your stomach muscles to get behind these punches. And nice combinations and breathing and heart rate nice and high. And time, time, time. That is our three rounds of 30 seconds done. And fingers crossed, hopefully you have got your heart rate snuck up a little bit higher. Like me, oh, you're heavy breathing, you're huffing and puffing because that is good. So all the way through the, pre uh, the early bits of the, the workout, we got our body, our joints moving in big movements. We challenged our balance. We did something which was difficult, but we made sure it was successful. And at the end, we got ourselves, deliberately got ourselves out of breath. We gave our heart and lungs uh, a challenge. And that is how we're going to improve our body. Not by taking the easy route. I cannot promise you any miracles or magic or anything like that. None of that. I can promise you hard work. I can promise you effort. I can promise you improvement over time. But I can also promise that you ain't alone in it because we're in this together and we help each other out. You, you, me, everybody else, we're in this together. We're going to help each other out and we are not alone. And that, I think, is a very powerful thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, I think so. So, tomorrow, Technique Tuesday tomorrow. Uh, at the end of the workout tomorrow, we'll go over the new exercise of the week. Uh, the new exercise that we will focus on and practice throughout the week. So tune in for that. Don't forget, 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, we'll be here. If you've missed it or any of the others at all, got the web address up there, reesefins.co.uk slash get moving. You've got the archives. Go back, have a look at all the old uh, sessions. Share button down there. Because, like I said, use it or lose it, practice makes perfect. We actually have to physically do these things to, for our bodies to improve. So help somebody out there, let them join in and let them physically do this. Not just think about it, but actually physically do it. And then share that button, let them, let them see it and join in. Uh, we've got, what else we've got? If you want to train with me one-on-one, -on -one, well, you can. You can find me via the website up there. If you think I am any good at all, then uh, maybe I can help you. We could do a virtual, we could do it face-to-face like -face for certain people at uh, certain times and certain conditions around here at the moment. Uh, so yeah, get stuck in there. We've got a donate button up there because, uh, as you know, this is my job. This is how I pay my rent. And uh, i got to say, I do love my job. But thank you very much indeed. Um, it, is, it is really good. Thank you very much. But yeah, there's a donate button up there if you want. Um, and otherwise... That's enough rambling from me. Thank you, boys and girls. As always, I hope you had a lovely weekend. You've had a, I hope you've had a good time this morning. I know I have. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. I'm going to shut up now. Thanks so much and goodbye.